So my name is Dr. Nicholas Bremer. I'm an interventional pain physician here at CAMC. Um, what that means is we use minimally invasive procedures and techniques to, to address um, uh, people's pain, to help uh, live them better lives and essentially increase functionality. Chronic pain as a category is the number one, is, is a leading cause of morbidity in, in the United States right now. Um, it is actually a huge issue. Um, the, you know, the number of patients that suffer from chronic pain is, you probably know somebody. It's one out of every two people, pretty much. The nice thing about spinal cord stimulation when it relates to, to back pain is, it's that it's one of the therapies that is really a durable therapy, and the results you get from it are just really amazing. My back pain began probably about four years ago. It just started hurting, you know, I would get like the, the sharp pains down my leg, went to the doctor, it would go away, a couple months later it would come back, and then probably about two and a half, three years ago, it didn't go away at all. It just constant burning, shooting down my leg, wouldn't stop. Back pain affects everything. You don't realize it until you have back pain. It affects your whole entire body. You can't sit for very long, you can't stand for very long, you can't, every movement hurts. Spinal cord stimulation um, is broken up into those two parts, the trial phase and the permanent phase. For the trial phase, you, uh, and we basically place the electrode into the epidural space or the space that's just outside the spinal cord. So you use a, a minimally invasive technique that, that's done through needles, and through a needle just like you would for an epidural for labor or for a spinal injection. Uh, but rather than placing medication, we actually place the catheter. Or, or, the, or the electrode. For the permanent phase, uh, the only addition to that procedure is that we then would actually make a pocket, you know, incision it in a pocket to place the generator. Patients that are candidates for this type of procedure are uh, patients that have had any type of what we call nerve pain. And there are specific diagnoses that we, uh, you know, that it's approved for. But typically the common denominator is the pain has to be coming from a, a nerve problem, whether it be nerve dysfunction, whether it be a, a diagnosis like um, a complex regional pain syndrome, whether it be uh, from after a surgery called post laminectomy syndrome, uh, you know, if they've had a back surgery, or if it's just uh, pain going down the leg from a nerve in the spine. I love Dr. Bremer. He's a great guy. Like, he really, really, like the first day I walked in, he said, it doesn't matter what we try, what we do, we will not stop until you get to where you can handle it. And when you come from somebody who says, I can't help you anymore, that means a lot. It's, it's great, it's amazing. When I woke up on the recovery table, she said, what do you feel? And I just started crying. Because I was like, I don't feel anything. It's probably the first time in like about four years that I hadn't felt anything. I would absolutely recommend this to anybody. And I've probably referred about six people to his office. Because once you find something that works, you want everybody to know. Like, you don't have to live like this. It's okay. It's a whole new world.